Welcome back. Morgan Stanley, the giant U.S. investment bank, has told its workers and clients that they're barred from its New York offices if they've not been vaccinated. If you can't attest that you've been jabbed, then you'll lose access to the buildings. The bank thinks this will speed up the process of getting things back to normal. Its boss says if you think it's OK to go to a restaurant, then it must be OK to go to the office. It's clear Wall Street wants its workers to return to office work. It's a mood that's likely to grow on this side of the Atlantic, too. Goldman Sachs in New York insists staff must disclose their VAC status. The unvaccinated must wear masks and observe social distancing. BlackRock, the world's biggest asset manager, has also turned its office into vaccination-only zones. And it seems to be legal, even in litigious America. The U.S. Employment Commission has ruled that companies can bar employees from the workplace if they refuse to vaccinate, subject to religious and medical exemptions. For now, Morgan Stanley operates an honor system. You only have to attest that you're vaccinated. You don't have to show proof. But that could change. So, should British companies follow suit? With me in the studio are Victoria Hewson from the Libertarian Think Tank, the IEA, and Ryan Mark Parsons, a commentator, former star of The Apprentice. Welcome to you both. Thank you for coming in. So, Victoria, should, shouldn't we expect, if we're going to work with people in an office and confined space, that they should be vaccinated? Well, I think what we've sort of forgotten about in all of the excitement of getting our jabs and people posting on social media and talking about it a lot, is that this is actually private medical information. And it's protected by, uh, in this country, by data protection laws. The idea of mandating getting a jab is something that should invoke human rights protection. But, but, but they're not, Morgan Stanley's not mandating that you get a jab. They're, they're saying if you're not vaccinated, then you can't come in to the office. and. Mm -hmm. Uh, wouldn't that give comfort and some security to those that know that everybody around them has been vaccinated? OK, R Ryan, Mark Parson, what's your view on this? Well, Andrew, I see it as this. Victoria has stated data protection concerns, and James Gorman, the chief executive of Morgan Stanley, has already made it very clear that it's about honesty and the testing to whether you've had a vaccine, so I can't see any breach. My point is that it's fantastic that we're getting some kind of normality coming back to the offices and what Morgan Stanley are promising their workers, if you have been vaccinated twice, you're able to get back to the office and enjoy life and working life without a mask, without social distancing, and that is something we should surely be celebrating, not confining people to their houses and an endless Zoom calls. I've had enough of it. I don't know if you've had enough of it, Victoria, but it needs to end, and this is a great step forward. Why, Victoria, should, uh, whether or not you're vaxxed, be such a great secret? I mean, I'm pretty happy to say on TV tonight I've, I've, I've been double Pfizer. You know, I've had, and I don't understand why, why that's a great matter of privacy. Sure, I mean, you're, you're happy about it, but many people are not. What's the evidence for that? Well, I'm not, <laughs> for example. That's not um, many, that's you. Mm. Right. Well, and, and clearly, as I said, m most, peop most people are perfectly happy to join in the enthusiastic embrace of talking about whether you've been vaccinated or not, but not everyone. And, you know, we have these laws and protections and human rights laws uh, in order to protect minorities from well, sort can of I, can being I... carried along. Yeah, and... just interrupts. Sure. With this point here, I was on a morning show about a week ago and I was speaking about the vaccine and I had thousands of people contacting me saying, you know what, I'm not going to get the vaccine. All of these crazy anti-vaxxers saying I'm not getting the vaccine because it's poisonous. Bombarding my feed with these conspiracy theories. These are selfish people that do not deserve to enjoy the liberties of those getting vaccinated. But what do you that say to going back to the office, Andrew? What do you say to Victoria's point, though, that if you are vaxxed, if you're double vaxxed, and you're in an environment uh, where most people are, what have you got medically to fear from those that are not vaccinated? Because it does seem that the vaccine does its magic. Well, the people going into the office who haven't been vaccinated, they can still spread the coronavirus. 
And whilst this virus exists within the population, it gives it greater chance to mut uh, mutate. And that's what we're worried about. It mutating to a point where the vaccine doesn't protect against the virus. And by allowing these unvaxxed people to come into the office, you increase the chance of that happening. Do you not agree with that point? I, I, well, I'm not a, 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 a medical practitioner or an epidemiologist. I do think the, the risk of vaccine escape has potentially been overstated in order to um, both encourage people to get the vaccination and in order to justify the continuation of the restrictions that we are still under. There, there are many companies, Victoria, if you apply for a job and you, you win and you get the job, they'll then demand that you have a medical. Uh, when I went to work in New York, I, I had to go for an AIDS test. I had to get a general medical. The results of that is, was made available to my employers. Uh, so simply saying, yeah, I've been double vaxxed, here's the certificate, seems to me to be a pretty small intrusion compared to that which happens all the time. Mr Parsons, what do you say to that? Well, can I just add to your point, Andrew, that we need to remind ourselves that Morgan Stanley is a private business and they have a duty of care to the staff that choose to go to the office. And I can speak anecdotally, talking to colleagues, friends, there is a fear going back to the office that there might be people who haven't had the vaccine and therefore that really affects their mental health well, and maybe, their confidence in going those... back to the office. And just another point as well, you should allow Morgan Stanley the prerogative to enforce that those wanting to go back to the office as a private organisation have absolutely every right to do so in order to safeguard the staff that choose to go back. I, I accept that and I agree with that. Someone who, who hasn't been vaccinated, you know, there's, there's a lot of um, potential slippery slopes at stake here. All right, well, I'm on the slippery slope to a break. So we'll leave it there. I thank you both uh, for joining me tonight on GB News and debating that issue because I kind of sense it is going to come uh, to the United Kingdom too. Now, still to come on this show, why football's royalty get to dodge quarantine rules, but we can't have a beach holiday.